What's up guys and in this video I'm going to be showing you on how you can turn off parental controls inside of Fortnite Season 4 the most easiest and fastest way possible working on every single platform. But just quickly I would like to let you guys know that I do gift my subscribers every single day on the channel. If you guys would like a gift from me in the Fortnite item shop after this video or any single time. All you guys need to do is just drop a like on today's video, subscribe to the channel and turn on the post notification bell. And if you guys would like to support the channel furthermore, consider using code VL1 hashtag add in the Fortnite item shop. But with all that being said, guys, I'm now going to be showing you the most easiest and easiest and fastest way possible to turn off parental controls inside of Fortnite Season 4, working on every single platform, the most easiest and the fastest way possible. But the first thing that we are going to want to go ahead and do to actually turn off parental controls is first do a step that will actually prevent you from actually turning off parental controls. So the first thing that we are going to want to go ahead and do, guys, is actually just make our way to the main Battle Royale lobby exactly where i am right here right now now once you guys have actually made your way to the main battle royale lobby what we're going to want to go ahead and do guys is actually just go ahead and press start if you guys are on controller or just make your way to the top right hand corner where it will bring you to the social tab you'll also see where it does say your epic games username you'll also see the add friends tab where it will show your epic like all the people trying to add you You'll then see the looking for party tab, the voice chat tab that does say game channel, party channel, voice method, voice chat, open voice settings. You'll then see menu that does say settings, parental controls, reporting, support and refunds, and also legal. Now, what we're going to want to actually do, guys, if all these settings is actually scroll down to the icon that does have kind of like a tire and three lines. And once you've done that, just click on settings, guys. Now, once you've actually clicked on settings, what we're going to want to go ahead and actually do, guys, is basically you will see a few different stuff depending on what platform you do play on. So you will most likely see like different stuff like video, audio, game, game UI, touch emotion, mouse and keyboard, keyboard controls, controller, controller mapping, and account and privacy. Now, what we're going to want to actually do, guys, is scroll over until we do see right here, guys, account and privacy. Now, once we've actually made our way over to account and privacy, we are going to want to scroll down on this setting tab until we can see right here gameplay privacy. All right. Now, once we see gameplay privacy, what we're going to want to go ahead and do, guys, for the literal next step to turn off parental controls inside of fortnite season 4 literally working on every single platform is to scroll down guys until we do basically see right here where it does say hidden matchmaking delay now once you can see hidden matchmaking delay you want to go ahead and basically just turn it on like zero seconds so if you do have it on anything but zero seconds you want to make sure that you do turn it on zero seconds as if you do have this on anything but zero seconds, guys, this will mess up you turning off parental controls, apparently. So you need to make sure that you do go ahead and basically have this on zero seconds, guys. All right. Now, once you've actually made sure the hidden matchmaking delay is on zero seconds, you are going to want to just go ahead and actually <coughs> you're going to want to actually just go ahead and scroll up, guys, until we can see um text chat and you want to make sure that text chat is actually turned on because if you do actually have this turned off guys this again will actually not allow you to turn off parental controls and you also want to make sure guys that you do have per, uh, party joinability on invite only so basically no one can join your lobby while you are turning this off as of course if anyone is actually joining your lobby guys this will actually mess up um, like the way of turning off parental controls. But once you've went ahead and done this, guys, all we are going to want to do then is just make our way back to the main Battle Royale lobby 
and now i'm going to be literally showing you how you can turn off parental controls inside a fortnite season for the most easiest and the fastest way possible so the next step of what we're going to want to go ahead and do guys to actually go ahead and turn off parental controls inside a fortnite season for the next step of what we're going to want to go ahead and do guys is just basically make our way back to the main battle royale lobby exactly where i am right here right now and once you have made your way back to the main battle royale lobby the next thing we are going to want to go ahead and do guys is press start again if you are on controller or make your way to the top right hand corner then once you've done that you are going to want to you're going to see like all this different stuff again you want to scroll down to menu and you will see right here where it does say settings parental controls reporting support and refunds and legal and what we are going to want to do guys is click on this right here where it will say parental controls and basically right here guys what it's actually going to do it's going to say like right here like it's going to say your parental controls guys so as you can see right here like it's going to say basically the parental controls and it should say disable parental controls guys all right so once it does actually say print uh, disable parental controls you will actually have to guys enter a code that whoever's actually like set up the parental controls for you will actually have to put in the code guys to disable it because look right here it will actually say like basically it will say choose your email address but instead it'll be either you get an email sent to your email address basically saying that you want to disable parental controls and you will have to go on it and then disable it so yeah here we can see right here where it does say enter six digit pin right here guys you are going to want to make sure that whoever set up the parental controls for you they need to actually enter the six digit pin to disable it so either way you can actually guys disable it through sending a basically right here an email address to the email whatever is actually um linked to the epic games username or you can actually enter the six digit pin guys so either way whatever one you are going to want to do it's entirely up to you it's probably easier if you just enter the six digit pin so if you do remember the pin so like ask your parents or whoever set it up just to enter the six digit pin guys and they can disable it just like that so yeah you can literally disable it if you enter the six digit pin or if you actually go and uh change the, uh, like get the email address sent to you so yeah guys that's how you can disable it in season four